I'm going to show you in this video how the catering menu works and how you can customize it and make changes to fit your needs. So here's the website. We have the home about us menu order online and then we have a button called catering. And I'm going to show you how I added the online order page to the catering menu so you can see how you can make changes yourself. So for example, when I press order online, I get to choose from the different locations. But when I press catering, it'll also take me to the order online page. The only difference is this one is catered towards catering uh, needs. And what that means is that catering takes longer to prepare uh, than pickup orders. So for example, catering usually requires 48 hours, 72 hours. Uh, every business is different. So that's why it's a custom uh, setup for your business needs. So when you, when you, um, when you watch this video, um, just know that you can customize it uh, to your needs. So for example, if you need 72 hours, you can change that and write 72 hours here. Uh, if you need to uh, use a different picture for your items, you can do that as well. Again, I am using basically uh, just generic pictures here to kind of give you an idea of how you can add your own pictures. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I do that. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to the back end. The back end is of the website and you're going to see a new you're going to see a new section which you probably didn't see before. And typically it, the way you can tell it's catering is it will say the word catering. So we have Lake Underhill location, we have um, original location here, and then we have catering. So if you want to make changes to catering, go to catering, just like that. Press dashboard. Once you do that, you will see all the typical um, settings that you're used to. The only difference is that this button here is now associated with catering. So when you press Clover Order Settings, the main difference now is that what's going to pop up here is all has everything has to do with catering. So, for example, when I press Categories and Items, even though you'll see the whole menu for the the uh, for the for that location, we're going to hide everything except for catering. So we have all of these for catering. So see how I have um, uh, these five categories. And how do I how did I come up with these five categories? Basically, it was mentioned here. We have added the catering menu, inventory, and categories to our system. Here's the list: hot bites, breakfast and lunch, pastries and desserts, breads and beverages. So based on these one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, we have them already enabled. So again, it's it's everything shows up, but we're only gonna make these five visible. So for example, when you get to this uh, page here feel free to change the image. Click on this and you can add a different image. So for example, this one doesn't have an image. I'm only going to add an image to it. I'm going to press the camera icon one time and then it's going to take me to my media library or I can choose a different picture. I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one again just to kind of so you guys can see how I did it. Now this will have an image to it too. And the other thing you'll notice is that there's a custom text that I wrote here. All catering orders will be ready in 48 hours. If you need different time, you can change that. Let me show you how I change how you can change that. You're going to go to pages, all pages, and then you're going to find out that page where the catering menu belongs to. And let's see what page is called. The page is going to be called uh, catering menu. Let's take a look here. So we're going to here online order catering. Press edit. Right here catering. Once you do that, you'll be able to change and edit that page. I'm also going to show you how I can, how you can uh, change this too if you want. But for now, it, for now, it should do, it should suffice. So here we go. We have the uh, title. The title is that when you saw order online, I'm going to, I'm going to say uh, order online catering. That way, uh, people know it. They're on the catering page. And then remember you saw this thing right here called all catering orders will be ready in 48 hours. We're going to change that as well. We're going to press this text button so you can customize it. Remember, don't delete this one. Okay, leave this one here because this is the short code for your catering menu. This, all of this stuff is, is this thing right here. So you don't want to delete that. Just change this one right here. So you can say all catering orders will be ready in 72 hours. All catering orders require... Um, 48 hour preparation, something like that. Whatever you like, you can change that here. I'm gonna press save and exit. I'm gonna leave it the way it is because uh, what I have is already correct. I'm gonna press update. The only change I made was I changed this order online catering before it was just, uh, it, before it was what? It was just this. So I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, update. 
give it a few seconds for it to update. Once it updates, you can go ahead, go back to the order online page and then refresh the page. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and refresh. Now you can see that it says order online catering. And then all catering orders will be ready in 48 hours. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. Let me see if I actually deleted that. Give me one second. Okay, perfect, it's loading. And then uh, I'm gonna show you how you can change how long it takes for you to prepare the order. You can go to settings here. As you guys know, catering uh, is not like like pickup, so we have to change that. So you're gonna go to store settings. And the first thing you wanna find out is find out how many days are in a, how many minutes are in a day. So <clears throat> I did a Google search. There's 1440 minutes in a day. You can use your calculator as well. So you double that. 1440 times two is 2880. Uh, so we have 48 hours uh, for uh, catering pickup. And I did the same thing for delivery. 1440 times two is 2880. And they can order 30 days in, in the future. So if it's uh, June 1st, they can order all the way until um, end of June for their catering. They just need they just need to give uh, you two days uh, advanced um, notice. Two days advanced notice, up to 30 days. Okay, and that's how you do that. And Let's see what else we have. We have um, we get, and then and the, the email will come to here. Um, let me take a look. What else we got here? I'm gonna go to store settings and see. I mean, check out settings. See if there's anything else. Uh, we have the tips enabled. We have the special instructions. So if you need to add some more special instructions, you can do that. Uh, thank you, page. Leave this one just the way it is. Uh, pay upon delivery, I turn that off because catering is pretty expensive, so you don't want to, in case you deliver it and they, don't ha they haven't paid for it yet, so I turn that off. So they can pay upon pickup, which is fine. If you want to turn, uh, turn that off, you can do that. Just come here and turn it off so they have to pay with credit card in advance. Um, yeah, everything else looks good here. And then if you are delivering catering, make sure to add your delivery uh, areas for catering. So you may deliver even further out. Uh, so for example, so you are over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a delivery zone for you, and you can change it yourself. I'm gonna say delivery radius, 15 miles. I'm gonna say zone one. I'm gonna say minimum order for catering is uh, 50 bucks. Delivery fee, uh, 10 dollars. So I can do that. Uh, I'm gonna draw my zone. So I can, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna be delivering all the way to here. Okay. I'm gonna press validate selected zone. And if you if your delivery radius is different than what I proposed here, feel free to change that. Okay, uh, let's take a look here. I'm gonna, let me just press save changes here. And one other thing I'm going to do also is I'm going to um, change the uh, the order type name just for you guys to under just when you get the order you can tell the difference. Oh, actually, there's no order types here yet. Oh, there is. There's two of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna call this something else here. I'm gonna say it. Online order um, pickup catering delivery order no online order pickup catering okay I'm gonna make one more so what that means is once they add it to the cart um, when I for example let's say I have added something to the cart when I go in their settings. Uh, let me add, let me add the other one. Uh, all in order delivery. Uh, catering. Okay, good. And this delivery order, yes. So, for example, let's say I added something to the cart, and then what's going to happen is that is that during the um, during the checkout, you'll see a few order types. I'll give it one second while this one uh, gets added because I'm adding some new order types. So it has a sync with the clover. So we have one, two, three, four. We don't need these two. I'm gonna just disable those. So give it a few seconds while this uh, transfers the data to the clover. So they they both have the same information. And there we go. We have it added. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hide this one. Uh, we don't need this one. Let me see, let me show you why I did that. See right now it says. Uh, online order delivery, online order pickup. It's very generic. So in order for you to know when you get an online order, you know if it's catering right away, it's better to have it named like that. So I'm just going to do that for you. Again, this is optional. I'm just doing it because it'll make your job easier. 
That way you don't have to uh, look through it and find out if it's catering or not. You'll know right away because it'll say catering. Uh, let me change, let me hide this one. Okay, I actually wrote delivery twice, so let me, let me get rid of one of them. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four. And I have uh, that one, okay. Perfect, so let me go ahead and refresh the page. I should have two. And again, uh, order types is when it prints out to your Clover or it comes to you as an email, you'll know right away uh, which one it is. So I have pickup, okay, let me delete one of this one, this one, I don't need that one. There's two of them with that. So give it a second for it to delete the order type. There we go, we have two of them, all in order delivery, catering, all in order pickup catering. Perfect, that way when it comes to you as an email or a printout, you'll know it's catering. Okay, good, so let's uh, let's kind of go over a few things here. And let me show you that I did, I, there's five interfaces you can choose from, and I chose this one. Uh, it's activated, let me just customize it real quick. Um, number of items per row. Um, Display item description. Yeah, let's go ahead and show the description of the category of the names. Save options. And uh, let's see, that's good. And then again, if you want to add images and I mean description images to the items, you do from right here. So you can uh, find your catering, search for it, and I add that from there. Okay, and looks like it's good to go. Um, so the only thing remaining is to add the description to it and the uh, images. So again, when your customers click on here, they'll take the catering, they add it to their cart. And as you can see, uh, the minimum they can order is, I mean, sorry, the minimum time they can order is what? A Thursday. So today's Tuesday, so 48 hours. See how it's 48 hours? So if you want to change that, you can do that. You can do that from here. All right, hopefully that video proved helpful. Again, uh, feel free to... Uh, Check out different options here. Uh, if you want to hide stuff, you can. If you want to um, do other things, it's all here. But I have the main uh, things set up based on the information you sent me. Uh, so I have all that taken care of. And then you just have to add your images and description and change. If you need more time, change that in the settings here. If you need more time for the catering. If you need more than this time, you can change that. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day.